Okay, how do we how do we make a movie? Now we're ready to make a movie. Well, let's take a look at our interface down here. It's basically two lanes. You've got you've got your primary storyline, which is where your video and your stills and your titles and your transition and all. And then below that is going to be audio, and even below that, this little music icon is what they call background music. Uh, and that background music is a special audio lane, and we'll we'll look at that a little bit later. So let's let's see if we can uh, uh, speed up this process here. And here we have our lake video. Let's just click one, and well, let's drag something down here, which is actually how you do it, uh, to go ahead and start making our movie. And that's all it is. So I'm going to click here and drag, and then just literally drag it right down there. And there we go. Now I did not pay attention to, I wasn't giving much thought to what part of the clip I was dragging, but you would, you know, you could, you would like start here. And if you look over here in your canvas, where I'm started is where it, it, that's the image in the canvas. But as I drag it updates, so you could pick your endpoint uh, like this. It won't go any further because that's our, that's our entire clip. So, so there we go. We can drag that down there. I'm not going to because it looks just <laughs> like the other one. Look real quick on this clip, and I'm going to go ahead and let's kind of double click it so I can highlight it because it's got the yellow outline. Do you see that orange? Now I'm going to click out of here so, so you can see it uh, better. This orange represents this section of the clip that's down here. Okay, and it will do that. Let's do another one. I'm going to drag this. You see. Look, there we go. I'm clicking out of there so you can see. Here's one here. I'm dragging it down there. There we go. How cool is that? You can also take these and rearrange them on your timeline any way you want. It goes. You can put it on top. Uh, you can put it in the middle, and things kind of scoot around there. You know, you can put it in the beginning, however you want to do it. You can also trim your edges just by grabbing the end. See how quick and easy that is. That's what you would do towards the end. You would tweak that. Your first task is to assemble a rough draft of clips in the order you will want them. Then begin the process of improving the flow. Look in between. You see that black bar? Uh, that is telling you that that is a dissimilar clips. They're dissimilar. Uh, they certainly are. They're different. <laughs> They're different clips, and it looks like a gigantic gap, but actually it isn't. So I'm going to click up here, and there's our playhead. Now I'm going to press the space bar, and let's play that through. Watch up here and see if you see a big giant gap. No, just a straight cut. And speaking of cuts, here's how you could cut a clip already on the timeline. Uh, you can go up here to modify. And it says split clip, but the keyboard command is command B. And I'm just going to keep using command B here. So I'm going to use command B. And there we have a split. You see? So it, you can't, there's no discernible way to tell that upon the playback up here, but it is. But watch this. If I gr drag this thing and just change, you know, now this clip is shorter than this one. Why we got the black bar? That's because these are two dissimilar, uh, I guess, endpoints, really. So you, you probably won't notice up here, but it's going to be a slight jump. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and when I drag that back and that bar disappears, uh, there we go. Now uh, we're, we're, there's, it's, the, it, it's cut at the place where it doesn't, uh, it's, it, it, there's no break in the flow. Now let's Let's uh, look at this clip. Uh, a couple more things that, that you really need to know. Uh, I'm going to join these back, by the way, just by selecting them and go back to modify and join the clips. It won't do that if there's a black bar in there, like I showed you, but it will, uh, you know, if, there's, if, there, if it can join it with no break in the flow. Now, suppose you got a whole bunch of uh, video in here, and this, then there's no way to make a list, by the way, so you have to do it this way. Um, how can I tell where in the heck uh, this clip is? For instance, this one's fair. This clip is fairly long. How could I find where this clip is? Uh, and let's just put. Let's make another one in the same clip. I'm gonna put it down here. 
they, they look alike, you know, I don't know, there's, especially in a talking head, there's, there's tons of, you know, plays it could be. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to highlight this, and then I'm going to go up here to uh, File, Reveal an Event, and the keyboard shortcut is Shift F if you want to, but Reveal an Event, and there it highlighted the clip in this long clip. So while it's doing that, let's take a let, let me explain a little bit of the philosophy of how editing is being performed in front of your eyes. Here we have this clip, which as we know is just a segment. But all we see is this, right? But actually this clip is this entire clip. It's down here. It's just that this part from here to here is invisible and this from here to the very end is invisible. And that is why we can trim the edges like this because all it is is covering it up and then revealing it. And by the way, uh, it's telling you that as you do this how long the clip is. All right. So does that make sense? All of these clips are exactly like that. That's the way editing works. That's the philosophy behind that. So keep that in mind because you could, if you split this clip like we did before, it's actually possible to uh, drag the end and be replaying something uh, because you know every every time you make a cut, and I'm going to just keep doing this. Uh, command B, Command B, uh, Command B. So here we we split this into four, but actually these are four entire clips. It's just that outside those lines. Uh, we can't see it's invisible. So that's very important to keep in mind. Okay, so we've got our video down here. Next we're going to take a look at the other types of media that we can uh, put on our timeline.